Welcome back to another video with Roberta and Happy on the Home Front. I'm so glad you're here. Hey y'all, it's Roberta with Happy on the Home Front and I am back with you for another Timu haul. What's in my Timu bag, y'all? I got this huge bag on my porch today and it's really big and dirty, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I've, I've already cut it open and I'm gonna start pulling out some stuff to show you what is in the Timu haul. Okay, and okay, first thing I have is this package of mixed colors, size 6Y. Okay, you can see that, size 6Y. And these are leggings for my big girl, Ada. And I purchased these. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so soft. Okay, and each one came individually wrapped and then inside another bag. And you know, they smell like new clothes. They need to be washed. But here's what these look like. Oh my goodness. These are gonna be darling. But here is the reason I bought these. And I'll tell you how much they were um, in the comments, in the description below, and I will link, but you can see right here, these are 95% cotton. And I really like cotton. I really like to wear cotton and cotton blends. But anyway, y'all, these are so soft. I'm gonna try to hold these up so that you can see the weave in this material. Um, if I knew what this type of cotton blend was called, like this, maybe it's Sapima or something like that, but I'm not sure, but it is so soft. Okay, so there's um, this color green, and then we've got kind of a salmon light coral color, and then we have a true, I'm gonna call this like a lipstick pink, so pretty, and then of course, so versatile. Um, we have a good, a nice dark black. Okay, and um, again, these are full length leggings because where we live, um, it's it's chilly here in the evenings, even in the summer. And I do remember the seller on you on um, Timu is called Horse Top. That is the seller's name their little online Timu store that you can find um, cotton items, okay? So, that is the first thing, and like I said, I will tell you how much these were in the description below and give you a link, but I'm pretty sure those were probably close to $15, so, which is not bad. It's not the cheapest price in the world, and if I had waited, the price may have gone down in my cart, but I was afraid that they would sell out completely and I wouldn't get them, but I thought those were some fun summer colors. Okay, next, this is a little shirt. It's size three years. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that adorable? And it's white. Um, this feels like a cotton blend too, but it might be it might be polyester. Let me look and see if I can see. Yes, Ada. Oh. It, it says 100% polyester, but it's very, very soft. And these little vehicles on here are for my best buddy, Levi, my little grandson. Mom, this is for you. And he loves struction vehicles. Okay, isn't that Can adorable? You put this on video? Oh, what is it? What do you have for me? Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful perfect acorn top, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks like a little hat for a gnome. Take a look at these. Oh my goodness. We have Ooh, what's this little fuzzy I don't guy? Know. Some kind of little little flower seed pod thing. Ooh, and a dandelion. A dandelion bud. Mmm, ooh, and a, is this a violet? Is this a violet or a Johnny Jump Up? I'm not it's sure. So Y'all, spring is finally here. Now, I think we're gonna have beautiful weather all week, but Bye. 
the threat of snow is not over because it's only mid-April. We can still have snow for another month. Now, it's probably not gonna be a huge snow if we do get any, but it still could snow. Okay, so, but anyway, isn't this adorable? Uh, my, my little best um, grandson, Levi, loves construction vehicles. And I like this one because it had several colors in it. Yellow, brown, blue, green, and black, of course, and, and red. So, I thought he would like that. And it was, it was less than $3. And I'm pretty sure it's had a price reduction as well. Okay, now, y'all, my family is back inside from playing outside and I've got the oven heating up. So there's no telling what you're gonna hear on this video. Babe, I'm making a video. Hi. He's, he's so excited. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, and this, I'm gonna show y'all what this is. Um, it's 15 sheets of this and it is a special cotton watercolor paper. Um, I have never worked with cotton watercolor paper, so I'm excited to give this a try. It was a great price, of course, and um, it says it's 200 GSM. I'm thinking, is that grams per square meter? I'm not sure, but anyway, we're gonna give this, give this a whir whirl and see how we like it. Ada and I and um, our family, we love art. So we're gonna give that a try. Okay, next. Mommy, what's in that big bag? A bunch of Timu stuff. Ooh, I wanna see. I wanna be in your video. You wanna be in my video. Hi! <laughs> Hi, world! Hi, world. Okay, go put daddy. No! <laughs> okay, I got this for somebody. Who do you think this is for? Mine. Yeah, you don't think it'll fit me? He's a little, it's a little small for mommy. I thought it was so pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, a little t-shirt under it because we I don't dress my girl naked, y'all. I cover her up. And I, like it. I think it's so pretty. Look at that, all those colors. And we'll put some leggings on underneath it or some shorts so that she can play. But I thought that was so cute. And like I said, it just goes with our art theme around here. And on the back, the, the little um, stripes go all the way around the back. What it's got a pretty little here? ruffle detail Woo! to the sleeve. And again, it's size 6Y, um, mainly, mainly for the length. And so we can put a little t-shirt or something underneath it. So links below. Okay. Ooh. Hi, this, this might be a haul all about Hi, Ada. Girl. I don't think anything in here is for me. <laughs> it's okay. all for me. Okay, this is a set hey, of... Hey, Mom, is that clay? Um, yes, that is clay. Wow, I can, I can do it with my friend Holland. Yeah, but not right now. Okay, go put it down. I don't want to be in your video. Um, next is this um, set of three t-shirts. They're kind of that athletic material. Um, I, to me, they kind of remind me of like candy colors. Hey babe, it might be a good time to go ahead and get her bath because no. she's she's filthy. I want to be in the And it's almost seven o'clock. Katie, come with me. Oh, be a good girl. Let's be obedient right now. Can I have Babe, she really needs a bath. She's stinky winky. Okay, y'all. My little helper <laughs> is hopefully getting a bath or a shower because she is filthy. Okay, so anyway, we have this three pack um, of again size, probably five, six. These are what I would call like heathered candy colors and just solid t shirts. Um, links below. They are that um, sort of athletic-y fabric material that's like probably moisture wicking or something. I'm sure it's all polyester. Let's see. Um, oh, po yes, polyester and spandex. Okay, but these are really pretty colors that will go with lots of stuff. 
Okay. Ooh, next. Ooh, let's see what this is. Okay. This is a vitamin E and Manuka honey lip balm that I learned about from another YouTuber. And I'm trying to think of which YouTuber it was. But she mentioned how much she likes this lip balm. It's vitamin E Manuka honey lip balm. And um, the ingredients are in English. And, you know, I'm not trying to say like this is the healthiest thing for you or whatever, but um, it was a good price and I thought I would give it a try. And I keep lip balms everywhere. I've got them hanging on my purse and this was less than a dollar. I've got them in every drawer, <laughs> I'm in my car. I got them in my school bag. So I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. It may become my new favorite lip balm. Who knows? All right, next. This is a 10 piece set of small aquarium plants. A set of 10 of those. I believe it was it's less than three dollars. Okay, so of course if we put any of these in our aquarium, I will wash them thoroughly and rinse them thoroughly, but there we go. Yes, I'm talking about the aquarium. <laughs> Her ears work. <laughs> and next up, we have this six piece set of variable sizes of watercolor brushes. These are the kind that you put water inside. Let me get these out for you. You put water inside the tube and then you squeeze the water and you and you watercolor paint with these. Okay, that's a really wide one. Okay, another another wide one. And then we have another straight one. Round, round, and narrow. Yeah, these are not artist quality. If you are a professional artist, mm -mm, no. These are just right. If you are like me and you have a little girl who loves to create and loves to make art and is very prolific at that and makes lots of art and maybe sometimes always doesn't take the best care of her materials. So she likes to mix paint, she likes to mix colors. <laughs> so these are a great little set for her and this little set of six is going in her reward box for her behavior goals and her um, behavior chart about choices. So this little set is going in her reward box. Okay. Hmm. Okay, next. <laughs> Y'all, this is a weird one. Okay, next I have black 20 pieces and these are 100% biodegradable trash bags. And these are um, eight gallon. <laughs> And they are for a camping toilet. Okay, so, and they come in a roll, 20 bags. So it says, um, you can kind of like see right there what they're for, but we are going camping with American Heritage Girls again in about a month. And the place that we camp is beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful. It is very budget friendly for our American Heritage Girls troop, but the plumbed bathroom is sort of a, I would say a five minute walk from our campsites. And what we have in our campsite area is a um, indoor vault toilet, which is basically a fancy name for an outhouse. And um, I just don't really, I don't really enjoy that. Now, if I were the only person using it, I think I would be just fine. But of course, this campground is open to anyone who wants to reserve it. And um, it's gonna be warm while we're camping. It's gonna be like the third week of May. It's gonna be good and warm. <laughs> and I, um, I just, I just don't have the desire to utilize that fancy outhouse if I don't have to. So, my plan is to purchase a um, foldable, collapsible um, camping potty, and these, these will go inside of it and also one of those like pop-up privacy shelter tents so that me and my daughter and my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter um, can um, use that if we would like to or like in the middle of the night. Um, I often have to use the restroom in the middle of the night and this can be um, right beside our tent um, it will give privacy and I don't have to go for a little walk in the woods. <laughs> so, um, anyway, that's the idea. So here's this 20 of these eight gallons for girls overnight. So I'm hoping this will be enough. Okay. You know what? And just so you know, boys have it easy. Okay. Next, um, this is a little six piece set of um, I do not recognize this word so I am going to just pull these out there are six of these and oh look they are little cutie patootie figurines they are a hard resin plastic and they're flat on the bottom, but my little cutie patootie is going to enjoy these, and these are going in her reward box. She loves to set up little animal habitats and homes and act out all these little scenarios with those, so these are going in her um, reward box. Okay. Next. Hmm, okay, what is this? These are considered navy blue, size six years. These are, I'm hoping these are pants for Ada. And yes, they are. And um, they, they just have a variety of flowers on them. They have an elastic waist. These are definitely not cotton. Um, let me see if I can find what the material is. They were such a good price. And it says they are children's clothing. Okay, polyester and elastane. Okay, so they're very, very soft, which she will like. And she can wear these with white, with coral, with pink, a um, couple of different shades of yellow and a golden yellow. Um, and even there's even a really pale, like aqua, like frosty blue in there. So um, these will get a lot of great use. And these are more on the loose fitting side. Okay, and I'm sure, I know I didn't pay more than $5 for those. Next, let's see what this is. Ooh, what's this? 
Hmm. Oh, Ooh, I know what this is. If I can get it open, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that you're going to see something that you might need or want or just get a better idea of what Timu has and what the prices are. Okay, this, this is an aquarium plant. Um, I am a little concerned. It's a little floppy. Um, mm, it smells terrible. So I'm going to have to wash that and hopefully get that smell out. But I'm sure it was probably around a dollar. But our little betta fish, Blueberry, loves to hide in the plants. So I'm hoping that that will be okay. Um, if it won't stand up, I will get Timu to um, let me send that back. Um, and um, it, but if I can't return it for some reason, maybe I'll just snip these off right here so that they, they don't flop over too much. Okay, this is kind of looking like a Timu fail. Um, so I don't know about that, but it's supposed to be an aquarium plant. Okay, y'all, I gotta get a drink. I'm so thirsty. I'm sorry, that was too much noise and information. Okay, next. These are a package of really heavy glass aquarium gems. Okay, so I'm thinking um, Ada loves to change the um, setup of the um, homes for our pets. We love to change the guinea pig um, setup and the bedding and move things around and, and really mix it up so that they're not looking at the same thing every day of their lives. Um, so we're kind of have the same idea here. These are glass and they are tumbled, so they're nice and smooth, but I thought these would be so pretty in Blueberry's Aquarium, and um, Ada did too. So I'm gonna put this in, I may put this in her reward box or just in her um, stash of stuff for the fish. Okay, there's that. Whoa. And Reward box item. Ada has become interested in horses lately and we're having her a horse birthday party, a pony party. And this is just a toy. Um, I don't think it's um, very expensive. It does look like the little rider. Yep, the rider comes off, so that's super cute. And she often uses her acrylic paints on her toys. So if she decides to paint this or embellish it, you know, I haven't spent a lot of money, but this is going in her reward box. Mm. Okay. This looks like a mint. <laughs> I hope I did not buy a mint on Timu, but I know it feels hard. There's some kind of little, little, figurine in here, probably some kind of little surprise figurine. I honestly thought it would be larger. So this might be a Timu fail on my part, but whatever it is, it's going in the reward box. Ooh. Okay, Oop. Okay, I believe this is another lip balm. I think this is the, uh, oh, this is a different flavor. This one is the, aloe vera lip balm and um, it does have English on the back and it does have some mm, some maybe not the cleanest <laughs> ingredients but uh, it might work and I thought I would give it a try so and I'm pretty sure it was um, less than a dollar so I'll give that a try Next. Okay, yay, more colorful stuff. Y'all, dressing little girls is so much fun. Now, my son Ezra had some super cute clothes when he was a little guy, but dressing a little girl is so much fun. Okay, this one is another little dress. It's the exact same style as the earlier one, the blue with the crayons on the bottom but um, this one does have an all over 
pattern of crayons, color pencils, and paint brushes, which I thought was so cute. It has a little ruffle. Again, we will put a um, short sleeve t-shirt underneath it, um, but I just thought this was so cute. And check this out. All right, y'all, can't find the black ones. Okay. The black leggings we got earlier. Um, possibly these green ones. Not a perfect match in color, but pretty close. Um, these lipstick pink ones are pretty close. Okay, I don't really see any coral on here, so probably not. But, hey, she can wear this with so many colors. And it's that very, um, I'm going to, I call it slickery. It's slick and slippery material. It's 100% um, it's polyester or something. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's not expensive. But I thought it was so cute. And if she gets paint all over it or mud, who cares? So, next. Oh. <laughs> it's another surprise mint. Okay, I hope I did not pay a lot for these. <laughs> okay. Ooh, oh, here's a little surprise thing. I think um, you might recognize some of these little friends on here. Um, this is called a Chunky Figure Model, um, and it's called a Yufufi. Okay, and it is, it is this brand here. You can see that very, it's very light. Um, but it is a little Disney miniature. I thought that was so cute. Um, and like I said, she can play some of her little things she plays with them, but that's going in her reward box. Oh. Okay, y'all. Okay, these are some sort of, some sort of disposable, gel pack things that you you open up and you pour it into your little portable toilet um, oh, you know with your trash bag to um, I think it absorbs liquid so you don't have spills and then also it's supposed to help eliminate odors so I hope it works I'll let you know Okay, what's next? I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a solar panel. Okay, so I originally bought this when I thought we were going to camp for two nights. And I do not like to be without a charged cell phone in case of an emergency. Now, we're not very far from civilization at all. But just in case, um, because my um, youngest son, Ezra, will be at home alone. Um, he's almost 16, so, um, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give this a try. It's a little solar panel, and here is the USB port that you plug it into. It comes with a little cord. I would say it's probably um, less than three feet, but it might charge just enough to keep my phone on in case there was some sort of emergency. Um, okay, so no, it's it's not even, it's probably 18 inches. Um, but it might work just enough to keep my cell phone on because also my husband will be out of the country, my son will be at home alone, and um, my um, elderly, the elderly grandparents of my kiddos, you know, are, alive still and they they might need to call me <laughs> plus i want to have my camera all charged up in my phone so i can take photos okay let's just be real it's all about the selfies when we're camping okay right apparently y'all i don't know what this is <laughs> another one I'm gonna have to look this up. I have no idea what this is, and they all just say one piece. What is that? It's a little hard thing in there. Okay. 
aquarium plant. Hmm, this is a tall one. This is probably going to stick out the top of my aquarium, so um, I may have to trim that one off, but we'll see. It's called Three Knots of Vanilla. Yeah, you know I love, you know how I love how they describe things on Timu. Love it. Three knots of vanilla, y'all. I guess it's three little, three little stems. Hey. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, now I was looking forward to these. These are very, very flexible, thin clipboards. Yeah. One's like kind of, kind of a sky blue, one's a purple. Um, I use these to keep track of all of our homeschool assignments for the whole week, everything that we have to get covered um, every week, and I check these off. Um, but also, um, Ada likes one um, to do art on and other things as we're traveling and driving. So I thought these would be great. Um, and they are nice and thin, so they're not bulky. Um, and I just need to use it as a writing surface. It doesn't need to um, be so sturdy that, um, you know, it's gonna like, cost a lot of money or whatever. But um, they are riveted on, and it has a nice clamp here with the rubberized corners. Okay, so I'm gonna let her pick what color she wants, and I will take what she doesn't want. Okay, ooh. Right, another horse and rider for the reward box. Yep, this one comes off too. Um, so, reward box. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be fun. This is for the aquarium. And y'all, I'm gonna have to cut this video off and do like part two because it is getting late and I gotta feed the people. Okay, now. I, okay, this is super cool. It has a suction cup, I guess, for the bottom of your aquarium. Okay, and in the picture, it showed these um, in someone's real aquarium. It was a little video that they linked. And these colors were just beautiful in the water. And our little fish tank, which we got from Amazon, has little LED light uh, built in the top. And it's got like, seven different colors that you can switch through. So it looks so pretty and Ada really liked it too. So I'm really hoping that these will be supported by the water and they will be buoyant and not look like this. Um, so <laughs> if they do, I'm not real sure <laughs> what to do. Um, can't really hang it upside down like that. I guess I could put it on its side, but I don't know, that kind of defeats the purpose. I wanted it to be, um, you know, floating up like this so our little beta could swim through it. He loves to swim through stuff and he's so pretty. He's a handsome little guy. Okay, so y'all, I am gonna take a pause right here and get back to you. Um, for part two of this massive Timu haul with links in the description box for everything that is still in stock. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you will leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!